Greetings, thrill seekers. I'm Dr. Stuart Mephisto, and brace yourselves for an electrifying expedition into the realm of extraordinary creatures. Ever wondered what happens when you fuse the brilliance of an octopus with the ethereal allure of a jellyfish? Prepare for a riveting journey as we delve into the mysterious world of hybrid wonders on Beyond Biology. First, we will begin by unraveling the fascinating facts about octopuses. Second, we will plunge into the depths and uncover several truths about jellyfish. But the adventure doesn't stop there. We'll push the boundaries of imagination to envision a creature embodying the best of both realms. Stay tuned for the ultimate blend of tentacled marvels and aquatic enchantment. Are you ready spaghetti? Excellent, let us begin. Octopuses belong to the class Cephalopoda, which also includes squids, cuttlefish, and nautiluses. They are considered highly intelligent invertebrates and have complex problem-solving abilities. They have the largest brains among invertebrates, with a highly developed nervous system. Octopuses are masters of camouflage, capable of changing both the color and texture of their skin to match their surroundings. They have well-developed eyes similar to vertebrates, suggesting advanced visual capabilities. Octopuses have eight arms lined with suckers that they use for catching prey and manipulating objects. They are skilled swimmers, using a combination of jet propulsion and fin movements for efficient navigation. They possess a hard, parrot-like beak that they use to crush and consume their food. Octopuses have relatively short lifespans, ranging from as little as six months to a few years, depending on the species. Most octopuses are semulparous, meaning they reproduce only once in their lifetime and pass on shortly afterward. Male octopuses typically transfer genetic material to the female using a specialized arm called a hectocotylus. Some species of octopuses are venomous, and their venom is used to immobilize prey. Octopuses use ink as a defensive mechanism to create a smoke screen, allowing them to escape from predators. They have remarkable regenerative abilities, capable of regrowing lost arms. Unlike vertebrates, octopuses use hemocyanin, a copper-based molecule, for oxygen transport in their blood. They are generally solitary animals, with minimal social interactions outside of mating. Octopuses are sensitive to changes in temperature, and some species prefer colder waters while others inhabit warmer regions. There is evidence of octopuses using tools, such as coconut shells or rocks, for shelter or defense. Specialized cells called chromatophores in their skin allow octopuses to produce a wide range of colors. Compounds derived from cephalopod ink are being explored for potential medical applications, such as antimicrobial agents. Jellyfish belong to the phylum Cnidaria, which also includes corals and sea anemones. They have a gelatinous, umbrella-shaped body called a bell, with tentacles hanging down. Their bodies are 95% water, and they lack a skeletal structure. Specialized cells called nematocysts in their tentacles release venom to capture prey and for defense. Some species of jellyfish are bioluminescent, producing their own light through chemical reactions. The jellyfish life cycle typically involves both a medusa, adult, and a polyp, juvenile, stage. Jellyfish primarily feed on small fish and plankton that get caught in their tentacles. They use a pulsating motion of their bell for swimming, pushing water out to propel themselves forward. Many jellyfish are planktonic and drift with ocean currents, covering vast distances. While most jellyfish are marine, there are a few freshwater species. Jellyfish do not grow continuously, their growth is limited by the size of their environment and the availability of food. They have a simple nervous system called a nerve net, lacking a centralized brain. Sea anemones, larger jellyfish, and certain sea slugs are among the natural predators of jellyfish. Some species of jellyfish, like the Turritopsis dornii, are capable of reverting their cells to an earlier stage, essentially achieving biological immortality. Jellyfish populations can be indicators of the health of marine ecosystems. Their abundance may increase in response to environmental changes. Their stings can be painful and, in some cases, dangerous. 
Some jellyfish can voluntarily detach their tentacles as a defense mechanism, allowing them to escape from predators or threats. Large groups of jellyfish, known as blooms or swarms, can have significant ecological impacts, affecting fisheries and other marine activities. Jellyfish are studied for their regenerative abilities, bioluminescence, and potential applications in biotechnology and medicine. Now the moment you have been waiting for. First I would like to ask if you can share, like, and subscribe to this channel to help us create new and exciting creatures. Thank you for your support. I appreciate everyone who has watched until this point. Here we go we are going to take the genes of both creatures and combine them to make a brand new species and then explain how they would potentially live in the wild. Let us look into the sky and in a booming voice shout, by the, by power, the power of science. Of science. science. The Geltopus could have a body with a bell-like structure reminiscent of a jellyfish, but with the flexibility and complexity of an octopus's arms, they possess a combination of long, flexible tentacles with the jellyfish's nematocysts for capturing prey and the dexterity of an octopus's arms for manipulation. They could inherit the octopus's advanced camouflage abilities, allowing it to blend seamlessly with its surroundings. Combining the high intelligence of an octopus with with the floating grace of a jellyfish, exhibiting complex behaviors and problem-solving skills. They could be equipped with bioluminescent capabilities for communication, attracting mates, or luring prey. The Geltopus could develop a unique reproductive strategy, possibly involving aspects of both octopus and jellyfish reproductive cycles. They would retain the octopus's ink defense mechanism as a means of escaping from predators. They would utilize a combination of jet propulsion and pulsating bell movements for efficient swimming and navigation. They could form symbiotic relationships with other marine organisms, potentially providing shelter or protection in exchange for nutrients. They could possess sensitivity to environmental changes, similar to both octopuses and jellyfish, as an indicator of ecosystem health. They could inherit the remarkable regenerative abilities of both octopuses and jellyfish, allowing for the rapid healing of injuries. They could also occupy a diverse range of habitats, from shallow coastal waters to deeper oceanic zones. They would integrate venomous properties from both parent species, possibly for capturing prey or self-defense. They would have a unique neural network combining both elements of cephalopod and CNI Darian nervous systems. The Geltopus would develop a sophisticated communication system using visual signals, color changes, and possibly even acoustic signals. They would exhibit a size range that could be influenced by both parent species, with potential variations depending on the specific hybridization. Adopting a versatile feeding strategy, incorporating filter feeding traits from jellyfish and active hunting behaviors from octopuses. Their lifespan would be influenced by both parent species, with the potential for a balance between the relatively short lifespan of an octopus and the longer lifespan of certain jellyfish. Wow, what an incredible creature. Thank you all for coming on this adventure with me. You are all amazing and until next time I am Dr. Stuart Mephisto and from everyone here on Beyond Biology remember with science anything is possible.